Hey, we have another problem from the MIT Integration B 2014. This was problem number five. We have integral of square root of x e to the square root of x dx. To start, I think I want to do the obvious thing and just do a u substitution because if we set u equal to square root x, um, it's going to kind of simplify the exponent in this, co in this term in front. I think let's just set, make a u substitution and call our square root of x u and see where that gets us. I think that's going to simplify it a little bit. So we'll say u equals square root of x. Then I can square both sides and say u squared equals x. Then if we take a derivative here, we're going to have 2u du equals dx. Next, making that substitution, we're going to have just u e to the u, this u squared x, and then let's plug in our dx, which is going to be 2u. Then I can pull this 2 out front and multiply these 2u. So let's see what we have. We'll have 2u squared eu du. And this is perfectly set up for integration by parts. I'm going to use the DI method or tabular integration to repeatedly do integration by parts. Let's see how that's going to work. We'll have two columns, a D and an I, to differentiate and integrate. I'm going to want to differentiate the U squared, but that's going to reduce the power when we differentiate. So we're going to call this our U squared, and we're going to call this EU, E to the U. Then we'll do alternating signs. We'll differentiate this column, so we're going to have Derivative of u squared is 2u. Derivative of 2u is 2. Then the derivative of this is going to be 0. Integral over here, easiest integral, right? It just stays the same. So we're going to have e to the u, e to the u, e to the u. And then we don't have to worry about this last column. We would normally have to integrate it, but because there's a 0 there, integral is 0, 0. So let's just take our solution, which is going to be these diagonals. And what I'll do is, because we have an eu in every term, I'm just going to factor that out front. And we'll just deal with these terms. So we'll have u squared minus 2u plus 2. Okay, and I just realized I forgot about this 2 sitting right here. I do that sometimes. So let's just take this 2 back and we'll put it right here. So we're going to have a 2eu in front. And then now we can back substitute. We know our u is squared x, but our u squared is going to be x. So to finish this off, we're going to have 2e squared x. Um, x minus 2 square root of x plus 2 plus c, and we're done. That was MIT 2014, problem 5. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.